What is up, guys? It's finally freaking time for BT7. Um, I, you guys have heard me over and over again hype this format and talk about this format, and especially since we're not going to have to deal with, like, Mega Digimon Fusion breaking this format. Um, like, we can do a ton of more things um, with a ton of other decks, so... It, it, it's honestly time to get into this. This is going to be the first profile. Um, I have talked and hyped up red. Um, I am missing a few cards that are actually coming in the mail um, that nobody opened on. Um, sorry, I'm going to move this for half a second. Um, nobody got in like their packs when I went to the pre-release, so I had to order them and trade for them. So I'm waiting on some stuff for like the high rarity red, and that profile will be coming up um, in a few days um, just from the, when this profile goes up. Um, so super look forward to that one. It is all insanely highest rarity of hybrid red. Um, we're just going to jump into hybrid blue. Um, so we are playing three Kiaramon and one Upa or two Upamon. Um, this probably should be switched. Um, I just could not find my third Upamon. Um, but honestly, Kiaramon, because of how the deck works and how often you're removing stuff from your opponent's deck, um, the card works really well as um, anyway. Um, but Upamon's still an insane baby. Um, we are going to go ahead and get into the level four, or level threes. Um, four of the new Strabimon. Um, it's your new Searcher, just like the new Flamemon. Um, you're just going to be able to reveal top four. Um, add hybrid Susanomon or Koji um, to your hand, and then um, on deletion, you can play a Koji from your hand without paying its tra memory cost, uh, which is really, really good. Uh, then we are going to be playing four of the BT4, the original Strabimon. Again, we're looking three cards this time, adding a Digimon with hybrid um, and or Blue Tamer among them. Um, so we're still doing a ton of searching, and then three, only three of the BT6 Strabimon. Um, if this Digimon has hybrid or Tim Warriors in its form, um, when attacking once per turn, you can get a memory. Um, and then last two, again, uh, <laughs> Pokemon. The, the, we're gonna see. You're gonna see this everywhere. This format. Um, on play, you're going to reveal the top five, add a card with hybrid or ten warriors on its traits, and one tamer among them to your hand, place the rest on the bottom. Um, and then once per turn, when you evolve one of your tamers, um, gain two memory. Uh, so basically, with Pokemon on the table, that makes almost any tamer evolving into a hybrid for uh, free, which is really, really good. Like, it's insane. Um, and that's basically what this deck does. Uh, level fours. Uh, f four Kumamon. Uh... Evo over a tamer for two, um, and then when digivolving, trash a digivolution card from one of your opponent from the bottom of one of your opponent's Digimon. Um, basically, this is your just like Blue has always done, and like Hex did. Um, you're controlling your opponent's digivolution stacks. Uh, three Kindergurumon, um, when he evolves over a tamer or a hybrid, um, since he evolves over a level four for one, um, he does game jamming, um, which is awesome. Then for Kori Kakumon, this card's actually really nuts. Um, when Digivolving, if this card has hybrid its traits or Tommy, um, one of your opponent's Digimon with no Digivolution cards um, can't attack or block. So basically, if you Evo this over a Tamer, uh, you get rid of something like and then you Evo this over it and then target that same thing if it just you just got rid of its last source um, and then it can't attack or block. So Kori Kakumon is absolutely nuts. Um, for anybody that kept track of what the BT7 format looked like in Japan, you guys are going to know a lot about this deck. Um, <laughs> it just doesn't have the Mega Digimon fusions. Um, then we're only playing four level fives. Um, we're playing four of the Beowulf Mon. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't find the, um, at least personally or locally, um, the BT4 ones, the superers that had jamming and where it couldn't be attacked if it had hybrids in its source. Um, that card is actually really, really good. Um, but for now, with how the deck is, we are going to just play this one. Um, when he attacks, you can return one card with hybrid its traits, um, to return one of your opponents level four or lower to their hand. So he's really good for getting cards back to your hand and then refueling. Um, so that's it for your level fives. And then we're only playing four level sixes, uh, four of the Magna Gururumon. 
Um, this guy is nuts. Um, I'm going to say that about a lot of stuff in this BT7 format, just because there really is a lot of nutty things. Um, when digivolving or when attacking once per turn, you can return one card with hybrid and its traits um, to return one of your opponent's Digimon with the same level um, as that return to their hand. So, and then uh, once per turn, when the effect adds a card to your hand, you can unsuspend him. So... You swing, add a card back to back, return something. Um, since you added a card back to your hand from this, it's going to unsuspend. You can swing again. You're not going to get the effect again because it's once per turn, um, but you're going to check at least two memory there. Um, it's And then you're also controlling everything your opponent's doing. Um, tamers, there is a lot of them, just like... Uh, <laughs> Just like yellow, um, it's not as many as yellow, but there's a lot of them. Uh, for Koji, um, you can place five cards with hybrid in, from their traits from your hand under this card in any order um, to Evo him into Magna. Um, and then when an effect adds a card to your hand, gain a memory, then this Digimon can't be blocked for the turn um, as a source. So not only can Magna at that point not be blocked, um, you're gaining a memory. It, the the combinations of this stuff get nuts. Um, Tommy, which in a lot of people's opinion uh, should have gotten hit, um, but since they hit Mega Digimon Fusion, it made it a little easier to deal with. Um, when he, he's played, you get to trash three Digivolution cards from the bottom of your opponent's Digimon. Um, and then when attacking for his sources... Uh, until the end of your opponent's next turn, one of your opponent's Digimon with no Digivolution cards can't attack a block. So him plus Cory Kakamon, you're just going to be targeting everything um, and just shutting their opponent, shutting their board down. Um, we're still going to be playing three Davis because this is still one of the best blue tamers in the deck or just in the game. Um, he's your memory setter as well as your searcher for one for a blue since we're not playing a green. Um, he's just nuts. And then one Sora and Joe, um, because every time you're going to attack, um, which is not a once per turn, you get to remove sources out from under your opponent's Digimon. So if this is swinging, um, like you can suspend this, but like it, it, it's technically a once per turn because it's suspended. Like I say that and then like my brain caught up to what I was saying. Um, but like, yeah, so you're just going to swing, remove sources. Uh, I mean, there's so many things that Sora and Joe do. Um, and just like yellow, the reason we're playing so many um, tamers is because more often than not, because we're playing so many, we want to see this in our security. So since we're playing two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve 10, 12 tamers, um, we're more than likely going to be seeing those in our security. Um, and then our options, we're going to be playing three Hammer Spark. I still think this is such a really good card. Um, one, because in security, you're gaining two memory. Two, you gain a memory just for free in general. Um, and it, that's going to fuel more and more of your plays. Uh, two Howling Memory Boosts, just like everything else in the deck, we're trying to make sure that our opponent does not have sources so that we can continue to shut them down. Um, trashing two, and then one of your opponent's Digimon with none, can't attack or block. Um, again, we're just controlling our opponent's entire game state, which leads to the final card, Ice Wall. Um, again, another card people are pretty sure should have been banned instead of limited. Um, one, in security, you gain two memory just like Hammer Spark, but in just playing it for one, you force your opponent, any of their Digimon, uh, when attacking, lose two memory until the end of their turn. So basically, like, if you're at zero, you play this, they go to one. Um, if they don't have a memory tamer, they're at one, so they can either Evo and play something, they can play an option, a tamer to pass to you, or they can swing and pass to you. So, like, this card makes things really hard to play around. And yes, you can still play around one, but <laughs> the fact that this card still exists and blue can still abuse this card makes this deck insane. So no matter if it's in security or in your hand, it, it's, it's a threat. Like it will forever be a threat as long as it exists in this game. Um, so that's the profile guys. Don't forget to hit that sub button. Let me know what you guys think. Um, this profile will be coming up in a few days from when this prof when blue goes up. So please be on the lookout for that one because I am insanely excited to show you guys how gorgeous that deck looks. So I will catch you guys later. Peace.